This video looks at the western side of Magdalen Street, the former Roman road through what would become the early site of Norwich. An earlier video covers the eastern side. Immediately in front of the old city wall was number 154 Magdalen Street, the White Swan pub until it closed in 1964 and was demolished in 1967. This is the area immediately after the demolition of the pub. This is number 148 Magdalen Street in 2022 and in 1934 it had been the premises of A. Bly, baker and confectioner. This is number 136 to 144, the historic photo this time dating from 1989. This is Throckmorton Yard, named after John Throckmorton, a 15th generation descendant of King Edward I, who emigrated to the USA in 1640. Before that it had been the Blind Institute from 1805, on land which had been owned by Thomas Towell, whose name lives on in the current care home for people with sight loss. Long before that it was St Mary's Church, until that became redundant in 1468, this plan coming from an investigation by the Norfolk Archaeological Unit. Next up we have Epic Studios used for events and broadcasting production. Historic uses of the site are for Anglia TV from 1978 to 2006, Brunswick Bowl from 1962 to 1978 and the Mayfair Cinema from 1912 to 1956. Looking at the display board on the Mayfair Cinema, you can see the edge of that in this photo from 1938 as we now look at buildings which occupy the left part of the current Epic Studios site, including a tobacconist. With Epic Studios in the background, in the foreground is the Cactus Cafe, which was the Queen's Arms when this photo was taken in 1995. This is its public bar in 1960 when Worthington's bitter was one and sixpence a pint, that's seven and a half pence. Edward Street didn't exist at this point until the Anglia Square development. Instead, in 1938, it looked like this. Turning to look towards the city centre, we see the brutalist Anglia Square and in this location, in 1936, were numbers 92 to 94 Magdalen Street. A little bit more of Anglia Square, this had once been the site of the White Horse pub from at least 1737 to its closure in 1955. And a bit more of Anglia Square as we head towards an area once known as Stump Cross, which had once been numbers 72 to 82 Magdalen Street. This is looking back at an entrance to Anglia Square, which was once the street called Botolf or Botolf Street. Underneath what is now the flyover was once the Dolls Hospital where dolls could be taken to be repaired or made better. Now on the city side of the flyover this is the 2022 view with the 1938 view including Walter Mace and George Atto's shops. Next door we can go back in time from the present day view to 1956 when it was Smith & Sons Druggists and then 1934 when it was Smith & Sons Wholesale Druggists. They were also the occupants in 1900. Seen here looking back from slightly nearer the city centre, this building was once an 18th century mansion. This is the King's Head dating from at least 1709 and seen here in 1935. At the time of researching this video, the pub is in the running for National Pub of the Year Award. The pub is seen here as part of its street scene, with its neighbours from 34 to 48 Magdalen Street seen in 1951. The building on the corner here was once the Golden Dog Pub from the 16th century to its closure in 1933. This photo was taken three years after the pub's closure when it had become Bradley's Clothes Shop. These are numbers 28 to 32 number 30 Magdalen Street being Newman's newsagents when this photo was taken in 1939 when these were the headlines of the day. Stepping back slightly to take in more of the street, these were former residential properties converted to shops. In 1936 these shops were Wiley's, Bushels, Newman's and Gutteridge's 
with a hairdresser just in front of Golden Dog Lane. This is number 24, Martineau House, childhood home of Harriet and James Martineau in the early 1800s. By 1939 there were shops at ground floor level while the upper floors were the Cowgate branch of the YMCA. By this time number 28 towards the right of the picture was Freeman Hardy Willis. And that's the western side of Magdalen Street. Don't forget there is a separate video about the eastern side.